Inherited colon cancer is an issue that both men and women need to be concerned about. Since this type of cancer is part of the DNA coding there is nothing you can do prevent the fact that you may have it. However, you can get tested for inherited colon cancer and therefore your doctor can help you prevent it from affecting your lifestyle. Even though inherited colon cancer is still a major ailment in our society, the number of deaths from it continue to drop due to various types of testing that have been implemented over the past 15 years. Early screenings at annual checkups can identify any development of polyps. The removal of them will prevent colon cancer from starting and from spreading. Once polyps have been discovered on an individual, they will be scheduled for regular follow-up appointments. These may be every three months, six months, or annually depending on the family history of inherited colon cancer and the amount of polyps that were discovered. Those with high cholesterol are also at a greater risk of inherited colon cancer. Getting tested for that can help to detect factors that can be controlled as everyone can choose to reduce the amount of fatty foods they consume. Testing for diabetes is common for those with inherited colon cancer as well. Statistics show that individuals with diabetes are one-third more likely to be diagnosed with inherited colon cancer. Effective treatment of their diabetes can help to offset the development of the colon cancer. There are different types of screenings that a person can have completed in order to be tested for inherited colon cancer. A fecal blood test can be done annually when the individual goes in for a regular checkup. There is a flexible sigmoidoscopy that can be conducted every five years. A full colonoscopy only has to be done once every 10 years. Your doctor can tell you what tests they recommend you engage in based on your family history, your current health issues, and your age. Inherited colon cancer is an issue you really need to be concerned with it there is any family history of it at all. It is ranked as the third highest form of cancer diagnosed in the United States. It is the second largest cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States as well. While it does affect slightly more males than females both sexes need to be aware of their family history. If this isn't possible then early testing should be part of preventative measures. More than 1 million people in the United States have been diagnosed with inherited colon cancer and are survivors. Due to the progressing of testing for it and aggressive treatment options early diagnosis definitely has contributed to their ability to beat the odds. It can take up to 10 years from the first signs of inherited colon cancer being recognized to a person developing incurable cancer that will spread and result in their death. 